Up next in our learning, we're going to be talking about URLs. And there are three helpers in Laravel that help us generate URLs for our app. Now, there are several reasons to use this as opposed to what we've been doing so far. But let's start off just by reviewing what it is that you may be used to doing. Let me visit the create method inside our contact page. What I'm talking about is something like this. Obviously, we have an action and we are headed to slash contact. And we've done this throughout the project. And typically, this is just how you handle URLs in your app. However, sometimes you have issues with addresses like this because they are relative. And so what happens is that it is actually completely coupled to that exact URL. If we went to the route file and for some odd reason decided to change contact to maybe contact us, it all breaks down. We would have to find every instance where we use that and change it. Even though we like the idea of having this route file because it gives you the one place where everything about your routes is stored. And that is very powerful, but we're not currently using it right now. So let's start using some of it. The first helper that I want to show you is a simple URL creator. So I'm going to actually cut that out and let's put our curly brackets, which is basically just our blade syntax for echoing out and let's use the URL helper and we'll pass in the exact same string to the URL helper. Now let's head back to Chrome and visit the contact us page. And here's what I want to show you. I popped open the source code. And if we scroll down a little bit to the part that we're looking at, we see here that we have a nice, fully qualified path to our endpoint. And let me show you the difference. I'm going to undo this a couple of times and just go back to this and hit refresh. And so you see the difference here. So we have a relative path. If tomorrow any of that changed, we don't have a direct path. So your URL path actually gives you a really nice full path to any URL that you pass in. Like so. In our case right now, that is just matching to our testing environment using PHP Artisan Surf, which we've been using the whole time. But once you have your website actually up in your production server, that will give you a nice fully qualified path to your resource or endpoint, including your domain name. However, that still has the same problem that if we decide to change contact, well, we'd have to go back and change contact in every instance. So how do we fix that? And the simple answer to that is something called named routes. You can assign a name to all of your routes and it's very simple. All you'd have to do is add a name and pass in a string. So by convention, I'm going to use contact dot. We'll use the dot notation create, and then let's do a name route on our store method as well. So we'll say name contact dot store. Okay. Let's save that. So how do we use that instead of the URL helper? Let's use the route helper. And in the route helper, we'll say contact dot store hit save. Let's go back to Chrome, hit refresh. You get the exact same thing right here. But the difference here is in our web routes, if I decide to change this from contact to contact us, for example, and of course we'll have to change the address up here now, contact us. There we go. Let's scroll back. And there you are. Our address has been updated in our view, even though we didn't explicitly change anything in the view. As you can tell right here, all we're doing is using the route helper and using the name of our route instead of using the explicit route to our file. Now, one thing is we're using this resource. And when you use a resource, you can't call the name on it. But through the magic of Laravel, it actually names all of your routes for you. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to show you a new command that we haven't talked about yet. And that is route list. Let me show you the command first in PHP Artisan. And it's right here, route list. So route list will list all of the routes for your application. So let's run that now. PHP artisan route list. And there we are. So these are all of the routes that have been assigned to our application. Let me make this slightly smaller. There we go. I think it's a little bit easier to see. So we have our customer's resource down here. You see all seven verbs are here and they're all properly named. 
Laravel does that for us already. So you have customers.index, .store, .create, update, and so on and so forth. And we do see the two names that we added to our contact routes. And those are right here. And of course, we haven't named our home route, doesn't have a name. The about route doesn't have a name. But do notice that the login and all of the auth scaffolding that we added with the PHP Artisan Make Auth have named routes as well. So if you want to redirect to a logout, you actually just pass the string logout to our route and Laravel will properly route that for us. So that's pretty awesome. The other thing I want to show you is that you can actually call a method on a controller directly from a view. Say that I wanted this route right here, slash home. Let's see what that looks like in the browser. Let's go to slash home. Let me log in, test.test.com. So now that we're logged in, we go to slash home. You see that we get this dashboard, you're logged in. This is one of those scaffolded pages that Laravel gave us. Now, this happens to have a name route but I will remove the name route altogether. And what I want to target is actually this right here. So let's go to my navigation. And just for now, I'm going to add another one and I'm just going to call it dashboard. And what is the URL going to be? So we have another helper and the helper is action. So if we called action, we can pass the exact same string that we're passing to our route. That is home controller at index. Let's check what that looks like paste. All right, let's go back to the browser, hit refresh. And if we inspect dashboard, we have a fully qualified path to that controller's URL, even though we are not referencing the route at all. We're actually targeting our controller and the specific method inside the controller. Pretty cool and definitely very useful. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's go back. I want to show you a different notation of this. If you're using an IDE, like I am, like PHP Storm, you can typically hold command and kind of click your way into a definition or a declaration of a class. And in this current notation, that wouldn't work. However, let me show you the alternate way that you can call that that will actually allow you to use the intelligence in your IDE. So instead of passing a string, what we need to do is pass it an array. And the first value that we need to pass in is the full namespace to our controller. So let's do that now. That would be app, HTTP, controllers, and then we're looking for the home controller class. And as a second parameter, we can pass in index. And if we hit save and come back, hit refresh, you see it still works. We're still getting the URL to our controller. Now the difference with this notation is that now I can actually command click through my IDE. So my IDE is able to parse that unlike passing in a string. When you pass in a string, it's not able to do that. I'm going to undo, go back to the string. And again, if I tried to command click, it just simply says, nope, I can't find a declaration to go to. And that makes sense because that's just a string. So that would be using the action. Now, I don't particularly love using action, to be honest with you, but it's always good to know about it because you might see it in a project. I definitely prefer to use a name route like this or simply use the URL helper for all of my routes. All right, just to wrap everything up, I need to show you one more thing before we can refactor our entire project. I need to go to the customers edit method. And there's this right here. So this action requires a parameter. So we haven't really touched up on how to do that just yet. So let me show you how to do it. We can continue to use our route and we'll pass in customers dot update right? Because remember, this is the edit view, which means we're sending a patch request to customers to be able to update the details in our resource. So customers dot update. And then as a second parameter, we're going to pass in an array and inside the array customer, and I'll show you why in just a second, and we'll match up customer to customer. And Laravel is actually smart enough to know that customer is an eloquent model and will grab the appropriate ID for us. So that's pretty cool. Now, let me show you something. This customer, if we look through here, you see that it says customers and then customer. So it will grab this string here, customer, and that is what we're matching to right over here. So now we're able to use the route method in a route that requires some additional parameters. You, of course, can pass in as many parameters as you need here. We'll say another one. 
It doesn't matter how many you have, you can pass as many as you need inside that array. So in our case, we just have the one that is just customer, and that's no problem. Go ahead and find every instance that we've used a URL in and convert it to either a named route or using the URL helper, and I will do the same. And when I'm done, I'll go ahead and upload the changes to GitHub.